Not every PCB layout needs grounded copper pour on every layer, but there are times where you should use it. For example, to balance copper throughout the stack up and prevent warpage, or to provide coplanar ground for targeted nets. The problem with an automated copper pour tool is that they can sometimes create antenna regions by filling in the empty spaces between traces in your layout. Take a look at this example on screen. Here you can see that the dense trace routing prevents the copper pour tool from filling in the space between these traces with copper pour. This is due to the clearance requirements around these traces. Nearby, we can see that there is a region where the copper pour has filled in the space between two traces, but it basically ends and looks like an antenna. These regions can contribute to emissions if they remain disconnected from the main ground region or if they have high return path impedance back to the main system ground. An easy way to solve this is to space out those traces so that the copper pore can fill in the region between them or to apply a stitching via right there in the antenna region to connect back to the main system ground. This is a task you'll need to perform during a PCB layout review after you've finished your routing. Larger regions of copper pour that look like antennas will resonate at lower frequencies, so make sure to deal with the largest regions first.